Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our new re research facility. We've got a new multiple channel research facility that we're building as we speak. Hopefully <laughs> it'll get done soon. Ah, these things take forever. I understand what you guys go through on your end. But anyway, multiple channel facility, 5272, 2, 11 Probably going to do uh, 14 2 to start and then maybe 14 4, add some more low frequency energy to the room. But a multiple channel facility and to be honest with you I never I could have cared less about multiple channels one I never heard a rig or a system that sounded decent you know everything seemed like an afterthought well let's put this speaker here let's put this speaker here there was no coherency or sound field uh, orientation or anything I, I, I couldn't hear it and I I to be honest with you I thought it was a gimmick multiple channel sound especially when I started to see the center channel in a cabinet, horizontal and in the left and right or vertical, I thought, oh, wait a minute. Sometimes I even saw the center channel sitting on the floor or above the screen. You gotta have a continuous and, and smooth sound field in front of the house. So it's gonna be our new facility here. What prompted me to do this was Michael's room and you can watch those videos. There's a five or six video series. Michael had a small room small rig, 5-1 system, little mini monitors. We brought in some of our foam frame panels. We brought in some of our carbon uh, speaker stands, subwoofer platforms, and you can watch the video and see the results of that. But that kind of gave me the impetus to, to get going here with uh, multiple channel and see, because I started hearing a lot of things in Michael's room that, that I could fix acoustically and make it even better. With diffusion and absorption, you've got powerful tools here. You can actually change, you know, the, the sonic presentation value in the room. So that's what we're going to do. What kind of room do we have? 36 wide, 15 high, 25 deep. Wonderful size, okay? But here's the best part about the whole thing. The 36 wide room sits inside a 65 foot room. So I even got more room for low frequency pressure to expand. So we got a 15 foot high ceiling and 25 foot depth. So I got a lot of space, a lot of volume, okay? Do we have, with this size room, do we still have problems? Absolutely, 30 to 80 cycles are problems and they're located on the sidewalls, okay? So what are we gonna do about that? Sidewalls 24 inches thick, we're gonna use our modules. We're gonna use our modules through the whole room and you, and you can see pictures of that. Some of the other features, we're gonna split the center channel, okay? We're gonna have a left center and a right center. We're going to have a left channel and a right channel. So all four speakers in the front of the house will be the same array, the same orientation, and the same speaker. We're not going to have a horizontal speaker sitting in a cabinet or anything like that. We're going to have a left center on the left side of the screen. We're going to have a right center on the right side of the screen. Okay? We'll walk through the difference there. It's kind of interesting. All right. Then subwoofer, we're going to do a one-foot, two-foot, three foot, four, five, six, seven, maybe even eight foot, because we've got 15 foot ceiling height. We're gonna raise the subwoofer off the floor. I'm always telling people, get that subwoofer off the floor and they'll fight with me all day long. Well, the manufacturer says this, the manufacturer says this. You have to look at the motivation behind what the manufacturer says, okay? Placing a low frequency energy device against the room boundary surface, floor, wall, it's never a good idea. Quantity versus quality, remember? Okay, so we're going to elevate the sub in increments and we're going to take measurements. I know you all want to see measurements and we're going to do all that with this uh, particular series. Foam ceiling, it's an old building with tin ceilings. Can you imagine that? Tin. So I didn't want to glue foam to it. I didn't want to, you know, do anything to disrupt it too badly, but I had to, to manage reverberation time. So you can see in this pic what I've done here. I've taken some bungee cords and some of our foam sheets and basically hung it from the ceiling in, in different arrays. So I think we got enough up there. I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to take some more readings and, and more listening. But if we need more, we'll add more. But you can kind of see what I did here. Remember, it's all about square footage coverage in the ceiling. All right. So the floor, floor to ceiling with 15 foot, we still have some issues. Okay. So the bottom line here is we need to treat those issues. And our ACDA 12 modules on the floor on both sides of the listing position will do that. 
I think I added it up the other day, there's 9,000 pounds, so a little over four tons of our carbon technology in this room. So it's a big room, lots of treatment. I think retail on the treatment's over a quarter of a million. So this should be a really fun project to test multiple channels and uh, kind of looking forward to it. So stay tuned, it's gonna be an 18 month project. We're gonna start with 5.2 and uh, get going with that. And then we'll do a series of videos on what we heard. Now, I'm approaching this from a two channel perspective. So I want resolution, I want all the things that we enjoy, I enjoy, and I think most of you out there do too, with low frequency or with you know two channel uh, systems. That may or may not be the correct approach, we'll find out. But I'm gonna approach it from a two channel perspective because that's the quality level I'm used to. And that's the quality level I demand. So let's see if we can add a bunch more energy to the room, yikes, and get that kind of quality level. Should be fun, stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.